don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, that's what you did. <laughs> Meeting. Public comment period. If you have public comments, please come to the podium, identify yourself and where you live, and you can make your public comments. Any comments? Once, twice. I'm not sure whether this is the right spot to do this or not, but uh, I'm Bill Kirby, okay. County Hearing Board Chairman. Yes. And we have two of our members who are whose terms expire at the end of this month. So my first question would be, has anything been done to deal with that? And if not, we would like to have both of them continue on. Um, Beth Keyes is an alternate. She's been an alternate for many, many years. She goes to Florida in the, in the off season, so she's not available. So alternate is good for her. Kurt Devaney uh, had joined us in the last couple of years. He has excellent construction knowledge, and he's a real asset to our board. Uh, when John Plaster uh, died, he left a big hole of that, that knowledge of construction. And so Kurt has filled that hole, and it would be very valuable to us to have him continue. I spoke to him, and he was he's willing to continue. So that's my comment. Good. Thank you. Um, I'll just let you know that I did uh, email everybody who is up for reappointment at the end of the year asking if they're still interested. Mm -hmm. um, that went out today. <coughs> Thank you. Any other comments? All right. I'm done. Can I just ask when will those appointments be made? Is that the January 2nd. Yes. Okay. All right. If there are no further comments, then I will move on. Okay. Thank you. All right. Minutes. Uh, approval of the November 2nd and November 9th, 2023 meeting minutes. Your comments from do you have any comments on the Approve the November 2nd meetings. Do I have or meeting minutes? Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. And I will make a motion to approve the November 9th meeting minutes. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Reports. Charging reports. Bills to be paid. All right. So you have before you the uh, last report of. 2023. Um, at this time, revenue collections are at 95.83% of the budget as of the month of November, the general fund. Um, areas falling short of uh, budget protections for the year include uh, state capital and operating grants. Uh, because we we're running a little behind getting the playground installed, we didn't get that portion of the grant in 2023, so that will be coming in in 2024. Um, and then also the sale of fixed assets. We had projected a revenue source in 2023 of $30,000 for the sale of a piece of equipment, um, but the vehicle that we have purchased to replace it will not be here till February 2024. So we can't sell it until we get the replacement. So that'll also be happening in 2024 instead of 2023. General fund collections uh, through November are $1,440,616. Mm -hmm. um, real estate taxes are, uh, we've collected 99.52% of that budgeted. Earned income taxes are trending slightly higher than budgeted. And uh, interest income is at 228% of budgeted uh, income because we were able to get some good rates on CDs for some of our investments. 
Um, expenditures are on target with our budget. Uh, expenditures overall are at 81.88 percent of our budget. Um, we have a couple items over budget. Uh, the auditor expense, because what happened there was the auditor from two years ago didn't submit their invoice until 2023, so we ended up with two invoices in that year. Um, and then uh, liability insurance is higher than budgeted due to the addition of a cyber policy a few months ago. Um, so that's kind of an overview of uh, budget. Questions, comments? Good, cool. Ron, any questions, comments? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. A motion to make a motion to accept the treasurer's report as presented and file for audit. Do I have a second? All set. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the uh, bill total for uh, through this past week for payment uh, is $165,491.32. Okay. Uh, any questions or comments on this? Any questions or comments from you, Ron? No. Yep. Okay. No, I'm good. I will make a motion to approve payment of the bill totaling $165,491.32 and to advance to the treasurer the funds to pay any needed bills or expenditures to save penalties or accrued interest and payable prior to the board the supervisor's regular monthly meeting in January 2024. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Emergency services. All right, um, Plymouth Ambulance had 28 calls in the month of November, 15 of which were at Frederick Living. Uh, I think we have the fire company. We do. Right. Okay, uh, up in front of the fire company, we had 19 calls for the reporting period. And we also, as we started at this last meeting, uh, 471, just over 471 hours spent uh, behind the scenes functions and training. All right. uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Jared Landis. I'm the president of the fire company. Uh, this past Monday, we had uh, our elections of officers. Um, so I have three of them here tonight, unfortunately. Uh, one of them was tied up at work. Uh, that was <coughs> our fire chief, uh, Doug Cannon. Um, so he has been a deputy chief for years. How many years? Yeah, 45. 45? Uh, he's been part of the fire company for 45, but he's been deputy chief for a very long time. Um, so the body voted him in as chief. Our assistant chief, or I'm sorry, our deputy chief is going to be Jeff Steigelman. Our assistant chief is Nathan Hansen. And out there somewhere is our captain, Come on, Jason okay. Parkins. <laughs> I'm loud. I'm <laughs> So those are our uh, four line officers for this year. Okay, thank you. Great. Go ahead. No, no. I was just gonna bring up, well, we have the toy run. Oh. I wanted to mention what's coming up this weekend. Uh, on Saturday, we're gonna be participating in the toy run, which uh, with 308 Plymouth, Am uh, Plymouth Ambulance. We've, how many years has been going now? 16. Uh, 14 this year. The 14 number wrong. Anyway, um, uh, you may have seen the boxes around town and stuff for toys. We head down to Bryn Mawr Hospital and St. Christopher. Anyway, um, it's a really, <laughs> I won't be able to make it.